Do you want to set up a recurring meeting in Zoom? A regular meeting, maybe with your team, maybe you want to meet every week. Well, there are three places you can do this. You can do it on the Zoom mobile app, and that's okay. It's not a terrible experience. You can do it on the Zoom app on the desktop, and that one I really don't like so much. I'll show you how to do it. You go to Schedule. The problem is that this one ties in very much with your calendar, and so you've got to go into your calendar itself, like your Google Calendar or, or Outlook, to set up the recurrence. And so the other way that I like to do it is through the Zoom website, zoom.us on the desktop. And so to schedule a meeting, you go into zoom.us, you log in my account, and then you go over to up here, schedule a meeting. And so we can put in the topic for the meeting, put in a description. Hey, here is what we covered last week. Here's what we have planned for this week. And does anyone need any help? And now you set a date and time for the meeting and a duration. Now, if you are using the free Zoom account, then the maximum time that you can set for a meeting is 40 minutes. But actually what we want to do is make it a recurring meeting. Now, I told you there is a little gotcha here. This time is my time, is my local time. And so if you are meeting with somebody across a different time zone, then you may want to be aware that especially if they are changing into daylight saving or if they're coming off daylight saving, <laughs> your 10 a.m. meeting at your time might be 3 p.m. their time, but then after they go on to daylight saving, that might be 4 p.m. their time, okay? So just be aware of that. Now, how often do we want to meet? Let's make it weekly, okay? And we want to repeat every week. We want to end by this particular time, or we want to end after we've got, say, five, five times. We're going to have five of these project meetings, and then we'll be done. And it will include the passcode in the meeting. And now, the great thing is that when you send off that invitation to people, then they can add that to their calendar for all of their meetings. You've got the usual options. Do you want to have your own video on if you're the host? when you start the meeting and you want the participants, do you want their video to be on or off when they join the meeting? And if you want to make it easy for people from certain countries to dial in over the phone, then you can indicate those countries here. I'll add Australia in there and, and the UK. So that will automatically be included in the meeting invitation. And then we go save. Now, you can add that meeting to your own calendar. I'm using Google Calendar. You'll need to give Zoom permission to access your calendar. And there we are. You can see the meeting there. Click on Save. Now, when it comes time for the meeting, you can go into your calendar or you can go into Zoom and Meetings and then simply click on Start This Meeting. Now, if you want to delete the meeting, let's just say for one week you need to cancel the meeting, then you just go into delete here, and you've got the option just to delete that one occurrence of the meeting, or you can delete the meeting altogether, the whole schedule forever. We can just delete that one occurrence. Now, having meetings in people's calendars just makes it a whole lot easier for them and for you. They don't have to look it up, they don't have to go hunting through their inbox. They've got the link, so hopefully they won't even need the passcode so that they can just log in. The meeting reminder will turn up, maybe on their phone, and they can just click and just log into the meeting. So it makes it a whole lot easier for them and for you, and that's going to improve your show up rates, which is really, really important when you are organizing a few people coming together. If you found this video helpful, then please give it a like.